All right, so I received several requests to create a tutorial on how to use MetaTrader 5 as a manual backtesting platform. So in this video, I'll go into how to set that up, the pros and cons of using this method, and I'll show you how to figure out if this is the right software for you or not. All right, so obviously the first thing you wanna do is go and download MetaTrader 5. You can get it from the MetaTrader 5 website, or you can get it from your broker. The next thing you should do is go into MetaTrader 5 and download the data so you have enough historical data to test with. All right, once you have MetaTrader 5 installed, then go to View and Symbols, and this is where you're going to download the historical data to test with. So you can choose any one of these symbols that are in there. You can create your own symbol here if you need to but I find it easiest to just use the existing symbols. So you can use, for example, the New Zealand US dollar and you can go to bars and then you can download the time frame chart that you want. For example, I'm gonna use the uh, four hour chart here and then you can set the dates uh, to when you want the data for and then hit request and that will download the data. Okay, so this is what it'll look like when the data is downloaded. I found that you have to press the request button a few times. Um, I'm not sure if that's just a glitch right now or if that's how it actually works but it does seem to time out once in a while so you might have to hit the button a few times in order for you to get the data once you have the data you can go through it to see how much data you have and how far back it goes just like with metatrader 4 you can also export the bars and you can import custom data if you need to now that the data is imported let's take a look at testing okay after you download the data then it's time to set up your charts i recommend setting up the colors and the uh, scheme that you like and then adding the indicators that you need. The good thing about using MetaTrader 5 to do your backtesting, um, manual backtesting, is that you can use the same indicators that you're gonna be using in live trading. So let's say that I'm gonna do a 5200 moving average crossover, and that's something that I wanna test. So I would go to trend, moving average, and then 200 simple, it's gonna be green. And then I'm gonna add the 50, And let's make that blue. And then you should save this as a template so you can just bring it up later when it's time to test other currency pairs. So just go to save template and the template will appear down here once it's saved. And then you can just click on that to bring up the template. All right, one final thing before we get started, make sure that you turn off the auto scroll, which is this button here, or I'm sorry, this button here. And that automatically scrolls the chart to the most recent uh, candle every time the price changes, so you don't want that happening while you're back testing. So make sure that this button is turned off. If you want to change the time frame of the chart, simply right click the chart and go to time frames and you can change it to whatever time frame you want to test. All right, now scroll back on the chart to the point that you want to start testing. And this is where it helps to have a mouse with a wheel so that it really speeds up the scrolling process. So you can go all the way back to the date that you want to test and be sure to look for the year in the lower left corner here and that will show you what year you're looking at. All right, once you get to a point on the chart that you wanna start testing, then you can hit F12 on your keyboard and that will move the chart forward one candle at a time. If you wanna move forward a little bit faster, then use the right arrow on your keyboard and that'll move it several candles at the same time. Now what happens if you wanna take a trade? The thing with MetaTrader 5 is that there's no built-in manual back testing functionality, so you're gonna to have to create some of this on your own. I recommend creating two spreadsheets. One spreadsheet is going to track your trades for this back test. So here's an example that I did on the euro US dollar. And then you're gonna have another spreadsheet that tracks the results of each of your tests for each of the currency pairs. So let's take a look at these individually. First, to set up the tracking sheet for each of your tests, this is pretty simple. Just note the system on the left. Um, you can put any notes down here, the time frame, the version number of the trading plan that you're testing, because remember, you can test multiple trading plans, multiple ideas, and it's suggested that you make some iterations to see if you can improve on the trading strategy. Then you're going to note the test number. Um, I would recommend testing this at least once or twice uh, with all the currency pairs that you're gonna trade because sometimes you know, you're know you just in a bad mood or you're tired and you're not paying attention to your back testing as you should. So testing it two or three times can help you see if there's a, a pattern or if your results are all over the place, then maybe you need to go back and review your trading plan. So for starters, I just recommend um, tracking return, win rate, and number of trades 
and then you can add that all up at the end and you can take the average also. And that simply helps you understand if you traded multiple currency pairs with this trading strategy, what would your total return look like? Because it can often be discouraging when you only test one currency pair and it makes you know 3% a year and you're like, oh, whoop to do 3% a year. But some traders don't realize that if you add up multiple currency pairs, you could have a significant income uh, just on that one trading strategy alone. So adding it up and averaging it out like this can help you understand the total return that you would get on multiple currency pairs. All right, next is the trade tracking spreadsheet. So I recommend starting with this. You're gonna get the date, pair, long or short, open price, close price, stop loss, take profit, pips result, so profit or loss in pips, uh, pips risk, uh, pips target, percent risk, risk multiple in R, then profit and loss in dollars, balance, running balance, and then you can track the wins and losses. And then you can also calculate your win rate automatically here. And then you can add up your PL here. And then this is good because you can start messing with the percent risk. And if you uh, just use this field as the percent risk for all the trades, then when you change this one field, it'll change all the fields. And then you can see what would happen if you risk less or you risk more. So I'm not gonna go through the entire spreadsheet in terms of formulas. Um, it's up to you to put this together yourself. And you can probably create something that works better for you. But this is what works for me if I was going to do this type of thing. Uh, so all of the math here is pretty ex explanatory. Uh, I do recommend, however, that you express the price in four significant digits. So even if it's one spot 0322, you can just put 322 because those are the last four significant, significant digits. Uh, very rarely will you have to put the whole price because the big figure or the handle doesn't change that much. Um, you know, between trades. So on single trades, it can help to just put the four digits that cuts down dramatically on data entry. And it also cuts down on errors that could be uh, included in your spreadsheet. All right. Now you might be wondering why should I keep a spreadsheet for backtesting? Well, here's why, because you want to be able to go back to the results and see what you did. Uh, maybe you weren't applying the trading plan correctly and you want to be able to see that. So that's why the date is important. You want to know when you entered the trade, um, if you're day trading, you probably want to know the time also. Uh, long or short, make sure that you know which direction you're going in. And then um, the price so that you can recreate the strategy if you go, I mean, you can recreate the trade if you go back to the charts to take a look at your back testing history. And this really helps in the forward testing phase because uh, if your forward testing isn't matching your back testing or it isn't even close, then you have to ask why. And the only way that you can figure out why is if you have results like this that where you can go back to the test and figure out exactly where you took the trades. Creating a spreadsheet like this also helps you uh, work out certain scenarios that you could um, introduce into your trading plan. So for example, I mentioned you could take more risk or maybe you could take less risk and you can see how that affects the volatility, how that affects the drawdown. You can also possibly add a second position to see how that would affect um, being able to catch big moves, stuff like that. So this is why you need to have a spreadsheet. So if you're finding this video useful, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell, and a thumbs up on the video is always greatly appreciated. All right, before we move on, I just want to show you quickly how to get that information to put on the spreadsheet. So you can just use the cross here, here. You go to the, day, the candle that you want to examine. And then on the bottom in this timeline here, you can see the date and time that that uh, candle represents. And then you can see the open, high, low, closed in these little boxes down here. And that's how you get the information to put into your trading journal. Now let's talk about the pros of this method. First of all, MetaTrader 5 is free. That's a huge bonus. Uh, you don't have to go out and buy any software. And if you're trading on MetaTrader 5 also, then you don't have to have another piece of software. You can just use MetaTrader 5. Uh, MetaTrader 5 is easy to use. You can use the indicators that you're already using to trade. Uh, in your back testing, so that's really convenient. Other platforms can require you to create a whole new indicator in their language or whatever programming language they use. So the fact that you're using MetaTrader 5 uh, in back testing and in trading is a huge benefit. All right, there are two big downsides for me uh, when using this method. First of all, I have to type in every single trade, and that's really tedious, and there's a lot of room for error in doing that, so I don't like to do it this way. Um, that really makes me tired, and it really slows down my process. So. Uh, not a fan of using the spreadsheet. Number two, you have to calculate all the stats um, every time you uh, do a new test. And I don't like doing that. I would prefer the software to do it for me. But if you set up the spreadsheet properly, then you can get a lot of stats automatically calculated. But again, I don't like messing with that. I prefer to have it 
all pre-done for me. And uh, there's a lot of room for mistakes when you do it manually. So that brings up the question, is this the best manual Forex backtesting software for you? Well, I don't know. It all depends on your situation, your budget, and what kind of strategies you're testing, right? So in order to help you make that decision, I created a video where I compared all of the seven major Forex uh, backtesting software products out there. I did manual back tests on all of them. I show you the complete test. I show you the results and I pick one winner. So in order to see that video, click in the upper right corner and that will help you determine if you should use MetaTrader 5 as your backtesting software or maybe another product might be better suited for you. So if you found this video useful, subscribe, hit the bell, and a thumbs up is always greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching and here's the next video.